crafty friends. This is Joy with Create It With Joy. Welcome back to my channel. Today's project is for Spellbinders using the small die of the month for June, handing you a smile. Now I did not use all the dies in the small die collection, um, but I will show you everything that comes um, in the small die. Um, I just ended up using all the flowers and I was inspired by Jennifer McGuire and the online card classes for this card. So here is what the small die looks like. You have a bunch of florals. You've got this um, hand that layers on top of the other piece. I'll show you in just a second. Um, it looks like it has like a little bracelet that you can wear. There is some stems. There is three flowers with um, multiple pieces to each flower and two sizes of leaves. So that is the stem. Um, and then you've got these parts of the leaves that will be stacked on top of one another, not, excuse me, not leaves, flowers, that will be stacked on top of one another to give this uh, a dimensional look. These are really stunning, beautiful flowers, um, and this card tur just turned out fantastic. So I'm going to show you some of the die cutting here. Um, I will be doing a ton of die cutting on some bright white cardstock from Cardstock Warehouse. Um, and I've got the two big flowers and then I've got the other parts to the flowers and the two leaves and I will just be die cutting. I did accidentally leave out um, two little pieces. It was one die, but two little pieces for one of these flowers. And I realized that after when I was putting the flowers together. So I did go back and die cut that. I am die cutting a ton of that out of this white cardstock because most of my flowers are gonna be white. This is gonna be a very white card, as you could see from the pictures at the beginning of this video. So I'm die cutting, um, I, I die cut, let's see, two, four, six, eight, like about 12 of each um, flower, about that. So I want a lot of dimension behind these flowers. I am cutting out multiples so I can stack them on top of one another. You could do it another way by using fun foam behind it or even foam tape behind your flowers. But this makes it look like almost like a chipboard piece. And if you've watched any of my other videos, you've seen that I've done that a lot. So here are some flowers. I've already glued this section um, two together. So each of those are doubled. This section that I'm showing you here have three behind them. It will be a total of four because I'm going to glue these colored pieces of cardstock on top of them. So these pieces, these are going to be like the spotlight image and they have four total. So they'll have a lot of dimension. The paper that I'm using is there's from Cardstock Warehouse's Star Dream collection, Lagoon, Azalea, and Flame. And then for the leaves, it's just a regular cardstock from Cardstock Warehouse, but it's spearmint green. Um, and so this is what those are those little pieces that I had forgot to die cut, so I had to cut those out. So those are the colors that I'm going to be using. It's a very simple color palette, but very bright. It feels summery, um, and then we have all this ton of white space on the card, and I have really been into the white space lately, but this pop of color is gorgeous. So I am going to glue all of those, most of those together off camera. Now that all those pieces are glued together, I'm just going to show you gluing on some of these colored pieces. Now I do have a few leaves that are four thick and a, a four thick of cardstock and a few leaves that are just um, two thick of cardstock and, and that includes the top color piece. I want dimension for all of my flowers. I just want different levels of dimension. Now I'm going to assemble these flowers together with their little pieces and parts. This little orange flower is the has three parts that you add onto it. So those little side pieces that I'm gluing on, I only did those in double thickness of cardstock where the back piece and this last top piece I'm putting on here is done in four pieces thick of cardstock. And that even gave it much more dimension um, and it turned out fabulous. So now I'm just going to kind of lay out on this piece of white cardstock and this is trimmed down and half an inch smaller than an A2 size card base all around all sides. I'm going to attach this to a white card base to have the white on white, which I absolutely love. Now, originally my thought was once these flowers are glued and you can see that I've got them hanging off the edges, 
that I would trim that off. And I actually did not because I liked how it looked when it was not trimmed. Um, and you'll see that when we assemble it to the card base. So I'm just getting a feel for how I want this to look. Here is my sentiment. Um, I did a glimmer hot foil sentiment. I did that off camera. I do have other videos to show how to use a glimmer hot foil. Um, so if you want to um, check on my channel for that, you absolutely can. But I used the glimmer plates, thanks a million, and um, the blush foil, and the blush foil is so pretty. Um, one of my favorite foils is Aura, but now that I've got this blush, this has kind of become one of my new hot favorites. So I'm just using some liquid glue to adhere these down. They are a little bit thicker and heavier, so that's why I'm using liquid glue behind them. Um, obviously, I did use liquid glue to assemble them. When I've got heavier pieces or my cardstock piece itself is heavier, I do like to use a liquid glue or a double-sided tape. Um, a lot of other ways, a lot of other things I use um, a tape runner for, but this I want really want it to hold. So I am just using Lawn Fawn's glue tube, um, but Ranger's um, uh, multimedia matte glue is fantastic. I've also used the glue from Simon Says Stamp, their liquid glue. It's all good. So the, the moral to the story is whatever glue you have at home is going to work fabulous. So you can see that that's all beautiful. I'm just kind of adjusting things here and there. And this is where I'm starting to think maybe I don't want to cut <laughs> the sides off of this. But isn't this turning out to be really super pretty? You have you still have the dimension with this um, white background. And these flowers, you have the dimension and it's not as big as the colored flowers. So the colored are bigger dimension and of course the color. So you kind of get a two for one as far as it being like a like a spotlight type of a deal. Now I've got all these little centers on the flowers. I'm just finding what goes to what and deciding what I want to use where. I did not put dimension behind these, behind the little dots. You absolutely could. I didn't feel like it needed it, so they are just the one layer. I am so sorry about my phone, you guys. I thought I turned that all the way down. So I'm going to finish gluing these little dots on. Now that they're all done, I kind of let my card dry after after I attach this sentiment. I am going to let my card dry just a little bit to make sure um, all the flowers are nice and adhered. So I'm using a little bit of foam tape on the corners and then I use a little bit of liquid glue behind where the flat where it's touching kind of the orange part of the flower because there is a lot of dimension behind those flowers. And so you the sentiment absolutely needs to be popped up this way. But my little foam tape piece was giving me trouble, so I needed to add a little bit of liquid glue to that. Once that's done, we're gonna set that in place. And I just like these, I well, I love these foiled greetings. They are absolutely wonderful. I think they just kind of class up any card, you know? Now that this is attached, well, I was looking at the A2 size card, I'm going to attach it with the double-sided tape. This is what I was talking about earlier. I just have an eighth inch double-sided tape here, um, but any size works obviously for this. And I'm going to center that. And if you've watched any of my videos, that was probably the easiest time I had centering a card. Isn't that stunning? And that Star Dream um, cardstock is beautiful. And these flowers are beautiful. Thank you guys so very much for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed this project. And I hope that it inspires you to create something absolutely wonderful. Thank you so very much for all of your support. I do have some affiliate links below. It costs you nothing to use, but it does continue to help me make these videos. And so I appreciate so very much that you guys use them. Thanks again, and I will see you guys soon. Bye.